Hello everyone and welcome back to Enterprise Tech India Unplugged. Uh, we've been slow in putting out content for a while now and uh, this is the 51st episode. So we just completed the half century a month or so back. Uh, and we hope you are liking the content and uh, sharing. The one request we have with you is if you like our content, please share it on your timeline, share it, discuss it with people, give us feedback. We are on LinkedIn. That's the main platform uh, where we post our stuff uh, and uh, give us your feedback on YouTube if you feel like. And uh, as usual, we have our favorite guests, uh, Kumaran, who is the CTO and chief mentor for Tiny Magic. And Venkat, who is the CTO for Equa Connect, uh, a great startup in the field of uh, aquaculture, uh, the trade trade world of aquaculture. Uh, and uh, we'll, today the topic what we want to discuss is how do you, how do our participants actually learn stuff, right? The, what, are, what are the sources of information they use on day-to-day -day basis? Because that is very important to keep yourself updated, right? So we try to put content in terms of a discussion, in terms of sharing our experiences, but sometimes you just need direct knowledge. Sometimes you just need a solution. Sometimes you need uh, input for making your architecture, deciding a technology to choose. All these kinds of decisions require direct knowledge to be gained, right? And experience from the field. So Kumaran, from share us share with us your perspective uh, on uh, on how, what what is it that you look at on day to day basis. Um, so I have uh, multiple areas which I am interested in, um, and which I think is very necessary. Uh, it ranges all the way from economics. Uh, uh, geopolitics, uh, legal compliance, uh, finance, psychology, and technology. Precisely in that order, because it, it kind of drives everything, right? Um, so it's uh, so the things which I go to uh, are typically I am more a video person, so uh, YouTube is one key. Uh, sorts of things. So I subscribe to a uh, few key things, like, for example, if it's going to be uh, business or specifics of that, uh, I find that a couple of things, like uh, there's something called Think School, I think they kind of do a good job on mm -hmm. summarizing complex issues. Mm -hmm. um, and in Tamil, there is somebody called uh, Cheran Academy. I think mm -hmm. that guy does a short suite for people who understand Tamil, complex business scenarios explained very well. Mm -hmm. uh, then to uh, understand legals and complaints, few newspapers who are, um, in fact, I don't read newspapers, but probably I subscribe to few of the news channels when they make some episodes. Mm -hmm. And depending on the topic, I decide to do it because otherwise news channels have become too useless irrelevant noisy means. yeah <laughs> uh, so i look at the youtube now it gives me an opportunity to whether i want to see it or not i watch it if it's content then i see it if it's just ranting then i skip it uh, then the other thing which i kind of is uh, i regularly go to linkedin um, mm -hmm. and linkedin is where uh, and i kind of uh, follow certain thought leaders, whether in the area of business and in uh, technology leadership. So usually they end up posting some stuff there. And any, any specific leaders you want to mention who I mean, have okay. contributed to your thought? So I, I think in architecture, there are a couple of them. There's a person called Wolfgang, then there's a person called Graham Tauk. Uh, these are both, one is in Amazon, another one. And also another thing is I tried to pick up opposite perspectives and subscribe to them. So mm. there's somebody who kind of says enterprise architecture is dead. And then there's another person who says enterprise architecture is very much alive, but it's just got evolved. 
Okay. Right. Right. So that's another thing which I kind of do. Pick one or two people who are at the opposite end of spectrum. So if you have a framework, mm -hmm. uh, somebody have two frameworks which are competing with each other. So you kind of try to follow them. Mm -hmm. uh, then there are uh, in the order of preference, then I would have uh, as it is, even though it's funny, it's just that there are some uh, technical magazines which I subscribed in Facebook. So that fast puts in my Facebook actually. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I think uh, one of the most important thing is like Verge. Verge mm -hmm. is one key. So Verge kind of gives a it's not exactly end user, but neither is it too deep technical, like mm -hmm. at a high level conceptual kind of a thing. It gives you insights into, for example, the recent thing, which was like Netflix and password sharing. Now, this is more than operational and a technical problem. It's an operational, technical and a business problem. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so these magazines have channels which you can subscribe to your channel of preference. Mm -hmm. Um, then, uh, after that last is your, uh, email subscription lists mm -hmm. that comes, but the problem with email subscription is like, typically most of these things go under junk kind of a, a folder. So it's very hard to sift through them and find yes. out which one is marketing and which one is, this. these are my go-tos for different, uh, things. And for finance, both at the personal and organizational level, I think one YouTube channel which impressed me in recent days is something called Finance with Saran. Mm -hmm. And uh, he does a pretty good job of giving some interesting information in like two minutes. So these are my sources. So, so Kumar, what I'm going to ask you to do is you're, you're going to share these uh, links to all these channels with us and we'll okay. publish this as part of... Uh, Kumaran's picks for uh, gathering knowledge, right? This is like your sure. your bookmarks, right? So these are your bookmarks, right? Okay. So yeah. we will we will share this thing with the public and uh, uh, let us propagate uh, the your way of learning also and let people share their opinion. Venkat, what about you? How, how what is what is your go to place for getting information or what you like? Okay, so like um, Kamran, uh, Kamran has a like uh, sweet uh, umbrella of everything he's looking at it. For, for me, uh, I'm not uh, getting to like that uh, variety of uh, steam. So I will be mainly looking for some uh, machine learning and what is happening in the mobile development. And especially now I'm looking for like ONDC, what is happening like so. It, it could be the next big thing for uh, India and mm -hmm. and and also like what is happening in the funding world how, how the technologies uh, uh, startups are getting funding like what is their idea these are the overall things I'm looking at it and most of the things I am currently relying on it Google alert mm -hmm. so I'll be creating the uh, Google alert for the various uh, topic which i'm looking for it and so uh, as as cameron said sometimes it will directly go to the uh, junk folder or like i will be archiving it for later re reading it but whenever i am getting the time i will go and uh, check one by one what had happened last week or la yesterday and this is how uh, most of the times i'm uh, updating myself and as you said and uh, i have a, a, a weekly um, channel for uh, mobile development which is uh, kind of uh, core right now we are uh, looking at it so then uh, there is a, a google channel i will be uh, youtube channel i will be following it mm. to update that you know. okay so that, that, that's that's good, Venkat. I think uh, Google Alerts actually is a very good uh, tip also, which uh, I think uh, Kumaran, you should include in your tips, <laughs> which is uh, uh, specific words or specific. That's actually a very good feature of uh, Google Alerts. You can 
uh, get alerts on specific keywords, right? They, they wear yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or the names of specific people. If you want to follow what they are doing and their news, if it appears anywhere on the web, Google will send you an alert, which actually is a is, is a very very good feature. I have I have a few. I don't use it extensively, but uh, th that's a good uh, way to catch uh, news you might miss, right? Some because sometimes you will subscribe only to a channel, yep, yep. then you'll get whatever the channel gives. But Google Alert sort of spreads that uh, uh, area much wider across the globe. Yeah. Yes, yeah. right. So it, you may get it. Uh, you Google Alert, you'll obviously get YouTube and news websites, and 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 the word which you just. Uh, the the term which you mentioned around ondc actually is 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 a is a big topic uh, which we might want to discuss at some point of time so kumar that is homework for you to talk about <laughs> on ondc uh, it seems uh, like a very very good concept and uh, we will means of course there is a lot of information available i think think school has also done uh, something on ondc if you want to have a yeah. look at it but we can discuss it from the enterprise perspective how uh, enterprises and people like uh, like venkat in the in the aqua connect world who's actually uh, doing something very closely associated with that ondc so just for reference ondc is an open uh, platform promoted by government of india for uh, e-commerce right and uh, we'll see how that evolves so for me personally, I think uh, I use all the techniques which you mentioned uh, uh, on, especially around Google Alerts, subscribing to channels, uh, to to get get that detailed information. But my sort of uh, I, I there's a few podcasts I will listen to, right? Which is which will come to my phone uh, on weekly basis, right? And then that that is my way of getting the getting the what is happening in the technology world so there is a podcast called this week in tech right and this is a long form podcast this is not something which you listen in five minutes and be done with it this is uh sometimes it runs for two hours also right so so i will not listen to 100 percent of it for two hours if i'll i'll be just having it running in the background and doing whatever else but that keeps live topics is happening in the world so one thing which i miss is there is there is no uh although india has contributed so much in the world of technology and uh, uh and contributing as a back back office for so many world-class organizations we still don't have any uh even thing like verge right there is no indian perspective on on the technology world and there doesn't seem to be investment going on in that space so that is something uh, means there are technology sections in in economic times and uh, business standard and all but all those are uh, they don't seem to be focusing on technology the way somebody like verge would do right or uh like giga ohm and all these these are all technology focused uh websites and publications which which there used to be publications like uh digital you remember there used to be a magazine called digital yeah the byte right. right and some of them were just republication of uh foreign magazines sometimes i remember that uh, True. But I don't know what happened to those uh, those those uh, websites and how they are providing. Even Indian Express used to have this uh, Technology Express or something like that. They used to have a channel like that, and they uh, there does not seem to be enough presence on the web or in print for these channels. Are you are you guys seeing anything there? Not no. Uh, right so the, so if if three of us haven't seen it in a while that means they have really gone down uh, because in in the 90s or mid 90s this used to be very big See, i right? think there was uh, probably i think uh, one uh, i now that you asked this i'm just doing some search as we are talking 
I think previously we didn't have internet, right? So just to get that information from outside prison, there was a consumer market. Hmm. Now something happens in Microsoft even before building twenty three comes to know of content in building nine, we come to know of it, right? So yes. <laughs> so that thing of uh, collect and aggregate and publish need is gone now you need to have original content for this for our scenario and that yes. i think is becoming a it's a it's a it's a, it's a gap i see i see it's a gap which i see right so we are still dependent on uh, although there lot of technology work is gener- being generated out of india i would say there isn't uh I'll to show this to you again yeah this doing this search so funny was, you can stop recording uh, we can oh yeah all right we will will record it it's fine it's just, if it is if it is worth sharing why not no it's not <laughs> okay we will see it so Let's. so thank you for uh for giving your inputs on how you learn what are the websites you visit Uh, i hope all of you uh, will uh, go to the content we will share on uh, on this uh, the websites and the links which kumaran and venkat go to and i will share my links the podcasts i listen to and the places i go to so keep tuned in and give us your feedback see you next time thank you